I kid you not, this guy is the same guy that I've been both behind the other, the other morning. This me and this guy just got a <laughs> jack in the box every morning. Oh my gosh, dude, this guy's my hero. He's my spirit animal. All right, well, we got the napkins, of course. But more importantly, we got two triple cheeseburgers in here. And I'm gonna eat this on the way back to the job site because I'm starving and I need to take a short lunch today. So I'm gonna eat this and drive. So that's my burgers for the day. Just a little burger update. This is one of the best I've ever had. It's not even really greasy and it's just so good and warm. Oh my goodness. I cannot describe to you how wonderful this is. So amazing. All right, well, I can't find my, um, I cannot find my mounting bracket for my camera. I'm not sure where that went, so I'm gonna have to find that. I don't think it's in the Corvette, so it's either in here or, uh, it's either in here or, I don't know, my room or something, but anyways, work could have gotten really bad today. Um, first of all, if you're not, if you're just, going along doing your thing if you're not paying attention you can uh, really screw up really quickly here so um, the higher the voltage the worse obviously but um, basically I think it's a 277 circuit or something a heater circuit and um, what happened was um, I put my friends uh, little hot stick on it and it said it was dead Actually, I think at first I at first I was just taking apart the room or whatever, just doing some demolition or whatever you want to call it, and I didn't have a hot stick at all, so I was, I was like, okay, I turned all the circuits off, so I should be good, and then I was like, well, maybe I'll just wait because just in case there's something else on the circuit, because if you disconnect a neutral wrong or something like that, then... And then you over overload another circuit and it blows up stuff, you know, like TVs or, well, not on a 277, but you blow up a, a blow up a heater, a PTAC or whatever they're called. So you blow up something if you disconnect the neutral wrong or disconnect the wrong wire, you blow something up. So anyway, so luckily I didn't do that. And then the second of all, I borrowed my friend's um, meter, little stupid stick or whatever, hot stick. And so I disc, I, I stuck it on there and it literally said it was dead for some reason. He was holding it on there wrong or something. It said it was dead. So I go to, I go to uh, take, th take the box apart or I take the wires apart. And then um, I was like, okay, just to be safe, I'm gonna stick it on the box, which is grounded. So, so it'll blow up if, it, if it's hot. So I close my eyes, stick it on the box, it blows up. Um, I'm not sure if the, the, there was already an explosion in there before or not, but basically there's a little mark on the edge of the box where I put it and then the lock nut like exploded. So I'm not sure what, if that was me or not, but basically you could blow your finger off or get a huge, I don't even know what happens because I've never really been in that situation, but it can get real ugly, I can imagine. Put a hole in your hand or whatever, blow a finger off, whatever. So, um, obviously invest in, um, obviously invest in a good meter to check if something is hot or not. And even then, um, you're gonna probably wanna just disconnect the, disconnect the hot wire first and not the neutral on that type of situation. I'm not sure on, on all the situations because I don't really do that kind of stuff, hot check work and stuff like that, or working on live circuits or disconnecting live circuits. But anyways, um, what you want to do is just probably disconnect the hot wire and then put an actual voltage meter on there and touch the box or something that's grounded and then see if there's an actual voltage on it, not trust a stupid stick. But um, anyways, definitely, I don't know, just get a couple meters on there or something or uh, I don't even know, just uh, double check your work. Make sure it's actually dead before you start messing with it. Make sure the whole box is dead, not just the circuit you're working on. I was working in a box and there was like two circuits in there. And I, for some reason it didn't click in my mind this one time. And I was like, well, we already checked that it was dead or whatever, but it, 
it didn't click that there was two circuits. It, I just thought it was part of that room. Sometimes the circuits go through to, or chain to another room or whatever. You pull like three home runs to a box and one goes to the room next door, one goes to the other room next door. So if you're not paying attention, it can get real ugly real quick. So um, really thankful that one, um, I wasn't touching it or disconnecting it at the wrong time. And then two, um, it didn't blow up on me, even though I blew it up on purpose, that it, it didn't blow up or uh, blow off a finger or something. You don't know what could happen, but then three, we checked the checked the the room that it was going to, and it luckily didn't fry the the unit that it was hooked up to the air conditioning, and they're called a PTAC or whatever. It's basically air conditioning and a air con a heater and air conditioner in one. You basically, they're they're the things you see in hotels or whatever. Just the thing on the wall, and you crank it on or whatever. Anyways. Luckily that didn't blow up because I'm sure that's a couple thousand dollars and uh, that would not have been good. So real, just really thankful for the best situation. Definitely a learning uh, curve or whatever. So definitely invest in a uh, invest in a good meter. I think there's a cop behind me. I'm not sure. No, it's just a, just a challenger. Anyways, definitely invest in a good meter, a couple meters. Always be careful. Always make sure the whole box is dead before you start working on it and uh, disconnect the hots first and not the neutrals in that situation. Maybe in every situation, but I'm not sure about that. Because I know there, some guy was telling me once, you gotta disconnect the wires in a certain order for different app, app, applications or whatever. So anyways, just really thankful that it turned out the right way. And uh, thanks for listening to me rant about this. So uh, it looks like there's some kind of crash over here and the news is over there reporting it or something I'm not sure so anyways just thankful that my day ended up turning out well for a, a situation that could have gone really bad so uh, I'm definitely gonna have to get a couple of AAA's and put it in my meter that's dead because I've been flying blind the last couple days of using my friends and obviously theirs could have probably killed me or something so anyways just glad that uh, everything turned out okay and nothing went wrong so um, just definitely be safe it's not worth it to just guess and check because even if even if you turn off the breaker that's labeled that for that room um, there was uh, another circuit in the box that that wasn't even labeled actually because there was two circuits I'm guessing it didn't really need to be labeled that way but anyways there was like some random breaker just random out in the middle of nowhere that was in the box as well so um, yeah, just double check all your stuff is dead before you start messing all this stuff. And uh, that's all I have to say about that. Thank you, Forrest Gump. So with that being said, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Definitely just be safe out there. It's scary how, how uh, wrong something can go real quick. So uh, if you're stopping by for the first time, uh, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe. Appreciate it. God bless and have an awesome rest of your day. I will catch you in the next one. See ya. So this is just kind of a mention back to a couple days ago or last week. Um, you never know what can happen during the day. You're never promised. You're never promised to come home from work or from whatever, whether you're driving or in a car accident. So just always try to live your best life and have a good one and be a good person. Anyways, just really thankful for the situation and nothing went wrong. And I hope you guys are always trying to be safe out there. Unless you're in Mexico, then, then that's okay. But other than that, hope you guys stay safe and uh, till next time. Can we all just have a moment of silence for the last Sour Punch Straws package?